Hi, I have just landed at the airport of Leh and I am a bit sad. At a time when our Prime Minister has declared Ladakh to be a carbon neutral region in no less a place than the Parliament of India, it's sad that this new airport at Leh Apart from the fact that it looks rather out of place with no elements of traditional architecture, even after several meetings with the airport authorities, with the Bureau of Energy Efficiency and the UT of Ladakh, is going on to become not an example for the world in carbon neutral solar heated airport, but rather I would say a joke for people who know how solar heating works. The insulation is insufficient and you can see the angle of tilt of the south which is supposed to capture the sun, it is actually inverse. Which means despite being in Ladakh which is one of the sunniest places, it will not be adequately heated by the sun. Quite incredibly, in Leh city, the solar capital of the world, this airport will be heated not by the sun, but 5 megawatts of diesel boilers. As if this was not enough, there will be a 5 megawatt diesel generator system to run the huge air conditioner systems in a place where opening the windows works better than any air conditioners. What could have become a model for the world could perhaps become a case study of how not to do airports in such sunny, high altitude, fragile locations. Namaste and Jule. Uh, first of all, I want to express my um, gratitude and want to say that I'm most impressed by the uh, quick response from the authorities, uh, from Airports Authority of India to Civil Aviation Ministry to the Prime Minister's office about this tweet that I made a few weeks ago appealing to rescue the Leh Airport uh, from becoming a bad example of a carbon intensive airport to a carbon neutral airport. Within days of this tweet, a team from the PMO headed by Deputy Secretary Mr. Gildial uh, arrived in Leh, visited the airport and took stock of the carbon neutrality of not only the airport but the whole of UT Ladakh and they spent time with us uh, considering various uh, possibilities of retrieving the airport and making it a carbon neutral airport. Secondly, I want to say that I have nobody to blame about this airport design which was uh, carbon intensive because at the time when this design was conceived, uh, maybe four years ago, um, there were very different conditions. For example, carbon neutrality was not an issue. Um, similarly, there was no grid connection from the national grid to lay. So perhaps that's why they designed a diesel intensive airport. But today it is most significant that the Prime Minister has declared Ladakh a carbon neutral zone. And moreover, the Honorable Prime Minister also announced that India uh, aims to become carbon neutral by 2070 in COP26 at the International Forum. So it is very important that we uh, walk our talk and make this airport a, an example of that vision. Um, now, what were uh, not so good in the old design of the airport? Well, first of all, it seems that the airport was not really designed for Leh. Maybe the climate data that they use was not from a place like Leh because it is it uh, emphasizes air conditioning in a big way. Roughly 800 kilowatts, close to a megawatt of air conditioning power is envisaged uh, in a place which is very cold and especially for an airport which functions before noon when it is not hot even in the midsummer. Secondly, for heating in winter, it envisages extra heat from diesel uh, boilers. 
and not very small, roughly 3 megawatts of boilers burning to give heat and totally, I think, discounts the whole south facade which is glazed. And that facade is uh, huge, it is 100 meters by uh, some 10 meters or so, which captures solar energy to the tune of a megawatt. Uh, and over a day, it will capture at least 4 megawatt hours of solar energy from the south facade itself. That was not counted. Uh, instead, it was based on diesel to heat the airport. Thirdly, and very importantly, uh, whatever the source of heat, you have to maintain it in a very well insulated building. So the insulation was very weak. In the walls, there was not enough insulation. Under the floor, there was no insulation at all. And on one building, the roof had no insulation over a cement slab. But yes, the main terminal building had a very well insulated uh, roofing, but not flooring and walls. So if you increase and invest in insulation, then your heat source can become smaller. If it is diesel, it can become half or even quarter instead of uh, diesel if you invest in uh, insulation. So what we now propose is that you insulate the building much better. Invest money in insulation so that the heat source can become much smaller. Secondly, the heat source should not be diesel boilers, completely do away and with the saved money you can do other things. For example, the south facade, um, 4 megawatt hours should be used for heating the airport and if it is not enough, have solar photovoltaic panels enhanced, larger, so that you use heat pumps. Heat pumps give three times more heat than, the, than it takes. So it would be a much better way of heating the airport than diesel boilers using heat pumps. Now, uh, thirdly and very importantly, for air conditioning, first of all, you may not need because it is early hours of the day that the airport functions. And if you need air conditioning, then why diesel generators or even grid electricity? Why not use the groundwater and um, 100,000 liters of groundwater will be pumped for use in the airport. This 100,000 liters of water comes at 12 degrees centigrade from underground and 12 degrees is the best thing you could have for air conditioning. So just run it through blowers which will blow the cool of this water to the airport and air conditioning will be done free of cost, free of emission by this and in winter, actually 12 degrees is a very warm um, temperature, especially in the entry to the airport where people will come from minus 20. So to avoid a thermal shock with their, uh, you know, heavily dressed uh, status, they'll come into a 12 degree, which you can get even from water, the groundwater at the entry. So that should be enough to heat the entry level. And as you go inside and wait for your flight, you have four megawatt hours coming from direct sun. So that should be enough. So in all, we can, the good news is that we can still make the Lay Airport fully carbon neutral and not just carbon neutral, thereby, um, you know, eliminating the 10 tons of CO2 daily that the airport otherwise would emit, you can also save roughly 3 to 5 lakh rupees on diesel and other things and the capital cost of those generators and boilers by going passive and by going solar. So this is a humble proposal I have kept and I'm so um, touched that they have been very receptive at the airports authority and the uh, ministry and the PMO. I'm ever grateful that they have paid heed to this uh, very special place, very disadvantaged yet, yet an, uh, a place that can become an example. If in this fragile region uh, we walk the talk of carbon neutrality, then surely the Lay Airport will become an example for the world. Thank you.